Should we try and pick a team for Argentina? Do you want to do that? Sure. Ellis, Jamie, George, Sinks? I don't think anyone will argue with you at the moment around those. Would you be happy with that? Yeah, would, yeah. I think, um, I think Will Stewart will make a really yeah. hard push for that. Yeah. Um, deceptively mobile and, and really sturdy. That's the, that's the, they're the one-two punches, though, I think, that you've got. As do you, do you, you, do you shore up to start with and then bring on your impact, or do you play and then come on yeah. to shore up? I well, no, you should play your best 15 in the right position. But, but what, what, how, how do you define what your best 15 is relative to the strengths well, it of... it depends on how you want to play. Well, OK. So, I tell you what, let's come back to this thing. We need ball carriers. Yep. So, you need Ellis to play, and oh. you need Sinks to play. Yeah. So, we've got Ellis, Jamie George, Carl Sinkler. Your second row, because... Well, you go second row first because I think Charlie's got an interesting. Um, um, obviously, Marrow is Marrow. You hope he, you need he goes in your team because. So that is a question: Is Marrow Marrow? Is Marrow yeah. undroppable? Big line, line out leader, which is okay. really important for this team. Certainly off Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as a variety, they'll want to they'll want to play off it. So yeah, I think he's he's pretty important. That's yeah. Yeah. And then I'd go either. I haven't quite made my mind up whether I go Ribbons or Martin, but I think you need a big one alongside him. Yeah, a physical just. So no Chessum, who went well for. Uh, yeah, I think you know Mar Mar Marrow and Chess are very similar. Would that be right in terms of he's got Chess has got a lot of energy, carries a lot. Did he, look, I thought he played re really well in the first couple of games for that in that Six Nations, but they've got to create that a feeling where people are like, oh, I don't really want to play against that, and and. We haven't we haven't necessarily always got that. So you need someone who like Johnny Hill is a nuisance. Maybe gives away too many penalties, but he's in your face. He's a horrible mullet in your head in your in your face, and he gets under people's skin. There's no doubt about that. So you need a bit of that. You need the physical side of it, or you need someone who gets in there. So I think that's why they need they need a big one alongside Maro. Maro is going to be in your face, wooing and ho hollering and hooping, but you also need someone who's going to niggle you a bit as well. Okay. Don't know what you think of that. So well, I think I think in in a couple of years, George Martin will be a, a shoe in in the, in that position. Is, I think that, you're, is, I think, is he there for a line and waiting type thing? Uh, yeah. Can so would yeah. you call yeah. him a bolter? Maybe yeah. would he be he, a bolter? For that you for is this? how we'd headline it and yeah. caption it and everything. Yeah. yeah. I think I think you're right as far as I think. Oli Chesham and Marrow would both are both locks that would maybe want a lump next to yeah. them. And Dave Ribbons showed his sort of value in that um, in that sort of role in the Ireland game, the last game of the yeah. Six Nations. England just looked a bit spikier with yeah. him there. Yeah. Um, I think Martin can. I think Martin. A couple, couple of fumbles will stick in the mind for um, a lot of people Ooh, watching on Saturday. But he went to work after that. Lots of carries, lots of tackles, and he's high impact with those tackles as well. He's, yeah. he's, and he's on the back of a. Excellent season for um, for Leicester. Leicester. I think, yeah, it might be even a year too early for him to really impose himself on this World Cup, but it might not be. You know, those things can accelerate fairly quickly. We shall see. So you're, you're going Martin and Marrow? Yeah. Okay. Back uh, row. Oh, oh, ribbon. Ribbons for this one. Ribbons. So, yeah, ribbons. And the start. bolter is Martin. And the no, bolter is Martin on the bench. First. Okay. Um, back row, we could spend probably the next four weeks trying to work out what England will do there but the, the sort of Curry-Willis double team is the new sort of kamikaze kids of four years ago Billy is the only standing eight Ben Earl will, will wreck everything and not stop running Lewis Ludlam has had some great days for England or some, certainly some, some good performances for England do you want to go first Charlie how on earth do you try and go Courtney Laws actually we can't forget at six as well but in my in my mind Courtney Laws has to play right he sets the tone for everything, physicality-wise. Right. And people will not want to play against him. No 10 wants to see him stood in front of him when he's about to So therefore, ball. But when you say play, has he got to start? Has yes, he got to play at he six? Has to start. So he, at six? Yeah. Okay. A couple of known unknowns, one of which is, can, does Courtney still want to play at lock? Is he still considered as a lock? Yeah. That could change things totally. Um, and the other one is, so last, the 2019, talking about the Kamikaze kids, they only came together in this game. Yeah. I think they tried to play them in a in the game against Wales and Underhill did his uh, toe or something yes. like that. So they left it, left that combination the first time it played was in that Ireland game, yeah. which set the tone for a, it blew everything out of the water yeah. as far as were Ireland good enough to get past the knockout game and wow, England are, England look totally energised. That could be, so what I'm talking about there is Curry and, Curry and Willis, is, is that 
is that a factor? Steve Borthwick's the only person that, that knows that. And I just think that England have shown that's the precedent. The Kamikaze Kids is the precedent, precedent for a totally new combination changing the look of a World Cup team. And that could happen in the midfield, as we'll get onto later, I'm sure, or it could come in the back row. I think not, not being able to be sure of that, I think yeah. you'd go Law 6. I'd go Willis just off the back of a um, bit of injury trouble for Tom Curry and Willis's fantastic um, year for Toulouse, in which he maybe just became a bit more assertive with ball in hand. And then Billy's out at number eight. And Billy is a definite starter at eight. You wouldn't put a carry well, that's, an, that's another no. unknown. It's yeah. another unknown. Because Billy factor. almost with eight. Got, he's, he's we, sort of... When you're talking about picking a team, you've got to imagine they're on the best form that they've got and, okay. and they're walking in there that way. Okay. I mean, Billy, a fully fit Billy is has to start. Yeah. Now, there are. if he's not showing that, then, yeah, you talk about other options. But I had exactly the same. I had... Uh, so Willis, 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 Billy and, and Laws. And that, that does begin to have a bit of what you're talking about there. Uh, you know, Laws you don't want to play against. No Billy at his best, no you're like... Have, no one wants to play against Billy at his yeah. best. Everyone w worries about getting hit by Courtney. Yeah. And then you've got, to, res you've got to respect everything that Jack does in terms yeah. of ball carrying, over the, over the ball. Yeah. You know, just being an absolute nuisance, but with a high skill set as well. I like it. It's time to believe a little bit. And nine. I'm, I'm going to come to you first, Charlie, because Tins will just moan. But nine. <laughs> I've got Jack Van Portfleet. Have you? Yeah. Because? I think he's got a high ceiling. I think if you think about his high best ceiling. games. We're not worried about what his ceilings are I think like. it's about coming, house, coming, so to the, coming to the... Coming to that. Coming to that. Yeah. The, um, I think the best... In, in his best moments for England, start of the second test in so, start of second test in oh, Brisbane, Australia, yeah, and and I think really underrated performance away in Wales uh, during the Six Nations. I think he's shown he's covers a lot of bases. He's got a lot of variety about his game because he's he can be can be quick with that service, and has also got a, a bit of control with that kicking as well. And I think he's just the more cams rounded. And maybe's and the show. Wing and a prayer, wing and a prayer as well. But he's yeah, he's start for me. Okay, uh, no, I. I it, well, hold your mic up. Um, I'm going to go with Danny Kerr. I just think uh, I think he's been the best nine in the Premiership for the last two seasons, along with ironically Ben Spencer, who I don't know what, don't know who he slept with or what he's done um, <laughs> to uh, ruin his chances. But allegedly, uh, allegedly. <laughs> oh, so obviously he hasn't. That's just um, so I would go with Danny Kerr. I think nine's a real problem. I've said this numerous times. Um, I think you know with the likes of Rafi Quirk out there, say Ben Spencer still. Um, Alex Mitchell. Alex Mitchell. There's there's other options. I think nine has just been the most stagnant position that we've had in England for the last seven years. Interesting. Uh, nine, question mark. Ten, Farrell, or are they going to go Ford and Farrell to 12? I mean, Farrell is... It's all built on own Farrell. You're both nodding. You happy with that? I think so, unless there's a Ford Farrell. But this is where, this is where it's a potentially tailored to an opponent, potentially the right. 23 becomes this more This is important. Argentina. Right. They're going to they're gonna have big, they're going to have big centres. So Farrell. Farrell 10. Tins, 12-13. Well, no, the rain clouds are going <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Uh, so 10, I've got Faz. Yeah. It's his best position. Um, it's where he plays best for Saracens. I think you just need to stop f fannying around with it and just, here's your 10 going forward. Uh, and and get on with it. And then my centres wise then, I'd put Mano at 12 and I'd put Elliot Daly at 13. With a wry smile, because? I just think it's, it's at where Elliot started, I think he's, he's always been his best position. I think we don't, I know that Slady was there for, for using the wiper and he's using his left boot. We never really used it. I think Elliot's got, obviously got a rocket in there. I've very, you talked about changing the way you kick. I don't think we use that, that kicking option well enough anymore. I think it's normally the set up one side of the ruck or the other and it's kicked straight off first phase where, you know, you talk about um, maybe playing a phase to get out. Whereas if you throw it in Elliot's, Elliot's hands on a miss one, I've got no problems that he, he can make the right decision, whether it's on for him to have a little gamble and, and move it wide or he can, he can pin a corner or whatever and move their, move their pendulum around a bit more and, and have a look at that, not to always do the same thing. I think Bailey is essential with as as far as with Farrell's the man at ten. Has Elliot come slightly from outside back in again, or have I completely made that up? Or so was not, it, would not he under, always have been there? Where de not definitely country? on the outside under Jones. Yes. Um, under under Borthwick, he was he was named as early as possible. Did a hamstring. Yes. Um, in Edinburgh, I th I'd, I like uh, uh, might sold me on that midfield. I like 
I would love to see, and I think it could be the sort of thing that maybe maybe changes how people think about England a little bit. Two two laggy Lawrence would would be quite. I'd, be like, I'd like to see that with Daly being that roaming second receiver from from wing, where I think I think he's I think that I think that gives him maybe a little bit of free, freedom that potentially thirteen doesn't. Okay. So, so you, you've obviously gone to Alangi Lawrence. I'll give you the casting vote on this one. But then back three, well, again, some, some definite options, but it seems that Watson and Stewart are pretty much inked in. Yeah. And then you've got Arundel. Uh, I think, for, from my point, Max Malins is the most underrated Malins. player ever. Uh, you know, you talk about Alex Good, and everyone's sort of question. I, I was one of those people who said he's, he can't play international rugby. But then he just keeps, he just kept being brilliant. And he's one of those guys who never looked like he was a, like a professional rugby player. He'd run a bit weird. He'd, and Max Mill is, is exactly the same. But you go through it when he gets the ball in his hands, always something happens, whether it be the chip over the, the try that wasn't allowed uh, for ridiculous blocking law, or he always finishes things off. He's just in the right place at the right time. Plus, he's a Sarage player, so he knows what winning's about. <laughs> so that's always good to have in your team. I was like, get as many Sarage players in that England team as you can, because they just get things done and they know how to win. Um, so, yeah, I, I sort of picked, I went on Watson, Stewart and Malins, but, you know, you can sell me on other things. I think Arundel's going to be have, it, have his role to play. Uh, coming off the bench and, and doing bits and bobs because I think he can just be lethal from anywhere. And I think Watson's one of the best wingers in the world and I get excited and I think people will be scared to play against him. He's just powerful, great feet. Um, even though he walks like Andy Murray now, it looks like he needs a hip replacement. But, um, hey, you know, yeah, he's, he's, he's just so good to watch. I okay. think uh, Malin's stock is about to rise with this move to Bristol and playing a lot more at 15. Right. I think that's going to be really interesting. So you've gone Malins on the wing because you've got Elliot at 13. You went I'm Lawrence at 13, so therefore your wing, Charlie, would be? Left, left wing, Elliot, right wing, Anthony. Watson, fullback, Stewart. Yes, yeah, so sorry, you, yes, sorry, you went Elliot centre tins yeah. with Malins on the wing. So I think there are a few players in there who you think, actually, hang on, that's not going to be an easy afternoon's work. Ellis, Marrow, Courtney, yeah, well, Billy at his best. Yeah. That's what it's Faz. got to be uncomfortable. People have got to be worried about it. Yeah.